Hey, what's going on, everyone? Coach Joey coming in. Uh, actually sitting in my office, which I don't do very often, but there's someone out there working out and uh, it was a little noisy. So I wanted to come in and kind of come in with a little bit of a message for today. Um, we're kind of getting up on the holiday season. So, you, you know, obviously you have Thanksgiving coming up and then Christmas. And then the big one, especially in the fitness industry, is the, uh, the new year. And um, I, I've been doing a little bit of thinking. I was reading a book this week um, that kind of references making uh, mini habits and kind of how to build on to that. And they talk about some of the reasons why usually only 8% of New Year's resolutions are, are successful. So um, typically when it comes to anything that you want to start doing, uh, you'll think of the long term and the big goal, which I, I think that that's important. And then you usually dive in head first trying to get there. But what ends up happening is sometimes you become frustrated. Um, everybody knows after, you know, whether it's a day, a week, or even a month, sometimes the excitement wears off and then you're just kind of left with the reality of it. And people have a hard time kind of really getting to where they're going. So um, when you start talking about trying to start something new, and I'm just going to use a reference of exercise because obviously I'm involved in the fitness industry. Um, let's say you're somebody who's never exercised. And you wake up on a Monday and you're like, all right, today I'm going to start exercising an hour a day. That's a pretty daunting request if you're somebody who has never really, you know, spent too much time working out. So what ends up happening is you'll either start your day and then you'll kind of procrastinate. Well, I'm not going to be able to do this. or I'm not going to be able to do that. I can't get to the gym. Maybe you'll think about going and then you won't because you'll start thinking about all the negative stuff. Then you'll start telling yourself, well, I'm going to be awkward. People are going to stare at me, whatever the case is. You're going to have a lot of resistance that's going to kind of keep you padded down. Your intentions were good, but the starting process becomes really, really difficult that way. And uh, the current book that I'm reading, uh, I apologize, I don't have it in front of me right now, but I'd, I'd be more than happy to post it up for you guys. Um, he, the guy literally tells a story of how he wants to start exercising. He just can't get himself started. So jokingly, he tells himself, well, I'm just going to do one push up. And in your mind, if you tell yourself to do one push up, as ridiculous as it sounds, um, there's not a lot of resistance. It's pretty easy to mentally see yourself get down on the floor, do one push up. The other thing is, is you'll be successful at it. So if you start with one push up, you're most likely going to be able to get down on the ground and complete that. And, you know, you're going to feel the, the benefit of completing a goal. Um, now the, the, the side note to that is that realistically, if you get down on the ground to do just one push up, you may find yourself doing a few more. Um, so, so the theories involved in this are, are kind of a reference to when you're trying to start anything to get yourself going in a positive direction, you really, really want to break it down into something that's going to be so simple that failure isn't even possible. So as silly as it sounds to get down and do one push up, let's say your goal is to do one push up a day. That is a, a it's it's a no brainer. There's no way that you could possibly fail in that unless you know something weird happens in your unconscious or in a hospital bed or whatever the case is. Anywhere you're at, any time of day, if your goal is to complete one push up, you can get on the ground and do it. The side to that is that you may get down there on certain days and do 10. You may get down there on certain days and do 100. But every day you're going to at least do one. And by doing that, you're going to put yourself in a frame of mind and you're going to create a habit to where every day at some time you're going to complete X amount of push ups and then you'll be able to kind of build on that over time. Um, there's some things in my life that this has helped me with. Uh, those of you who know me personally, reading's a big one. Um, I started reading about a year and a half ago and I just started out trying to read five pages a day and then I would sit down and read and then five pages turned into 10 pages and then 10 pages would turn into me reading multiple times a day and then I got to a place where I was reading about a book a week. That slowed down a little bit right now, um, but I still make sure that no matter what happens in the morning time when I get up, I read at least five pages and that's still my goal. So I'm successful at hitting my goal and then if I go beyond it, then that's just a bonus. Um, something else I do every morning because I wanted to start drinking more water. This was a couple years ago. I always wake up first thing in the morning. I drink 16 ounces of water and now my body almost craves that. Like I don't even have to think about it anymore. Of course, the first few weeks, maybe it was even a couple months. I had to maybe remind myself to get up and have that 16 ounces of water, but there's not a lot of resistance to waking up and drinking a glass of water. It's something that's really, really easy to do. And now it's kind of become habitual for me. So when you guys are setting these goals, fitness related, finance related, relationship related, whatever it is, it's great to look at the big picture. If you want to make a million dollars, that's great. What you can do today, if you set a goal to save $1 every day, 
that's gonna give you at least $365 a year closer to reaching your goal. And then if you're able to add on to that or stack onto that or take that money and invest it and make more money, that's all a bonus. But give yourself that small one thing that you're gonna do every day. Make it a habit, it will become subconscious, and then you'll be able to build on that and you'll never regress. Like for me, I never read less than five pages a day. Some days I may read a lot more, but I never read less, all right? So you guys think about that as you're setting up some goals for yourself coming up on the new year, all right, you guys? We'll talk to you soon. Everybody have a good day.